guys and welcome back again to my youtube channel it's me your baby girl kelly baby if you're new to my channel you are highly highly welcome please remember to smash that red button down there that says subscribe after that turn on your notification bell that will be notified anytime i drop any new video if you're a subscriber you are highly highly welcome my people my people your man jemba you guys are the best you guys are my backbones you guys are the real prince and kings um thank you guys for your support for your love for everything i don't take them for granted i pray that the good lord will bless the good works of your hand and enlarge your school in jesus name amen more money to your pocket and into your bank account this year in jesus name amen for encountering this channel so guys have you liked this video please click like button you know and drop whatever your opinion might be down there on the comments section you know like i said i don't know it all let's rub minds together so um there is this video i would like you guys to watch before you know i will you know say my opinion and my thoughts concerning everything okay this is a video of another go okay exposing uh, other pastors you know other go's other nigerian pastors hey so um and again the reason why i think that um god is giving Pastor Suleiman or Apostle Suleiman, another chance to repent of all the alleged atrocities, alleged, you know, bad things he has done. If actually he did them, okay, like at this point, um, it has not been proven, you know, authentic that he did all those things. But, you know, let's just leave it that, that, that way, okay. So I, I think that God is giving him another chance to, you know, repent and become a better person because the truth is that he's not the only person on this table there are a lot of nigerian pastors that are you know are with him that are doing the same thing doing worse but because their own cup is not yet filled um the the table has not turned against them yet um it seems like they are sent they are the innocent and they are hiding under the you know um clergymen and be doing those things they are doing um, I have a lot to say. I have a lot of things to say. Like I said, I would like you to watch this video first so that um, when I'm dropping my opinion, maybe you will get me. And for those of you that start telling me, touch not my anointed and do my prophet. No, I'm calm down. Calm your nerves. Nobody is touching your anointed and your anointed again should not touch himself. Okay. Um, I'm not here to talk bad about anybody or about pastors or about um, him, but I'm here to, you know, say my opinion, what I think concerning all this thing, what, what I think that God is calling him i'm giving him the second chance and um, apostle suleiman so guys i'm um, watch the video and i'll come back with the rest of my you know analysis and my thoughts okay i hear some preachers saying that the media beaming light on their immorality is an attack on the body of christ it's not an attack on the body of christ it's god bringing you to the threshing floor blessed are you oh preacher if god brings you to the threshing floor because god wants you to repent the Lord said to me, listen, you may not like what I want to say. I sat before a social media, um, a YouTuber who was exposing the things that happened in the church. The guy is in South Africa also. What's that his name again? So I was listening. I saw some other guys in Nigeria. I was watching what they were saying. At a point, I was saying to myself, what is happening? Why is it that these guys are doing all these things? And the Holy Spirit said to me, they are part of my threshing floor because the ministers refuse to judge themselves. You see, check the entire pastors, all of us that call ourselves pastors. We don't have a system for checking our moral lives. There is no system for checking our claims, our prophetic claims, our doctrines, we don't have the system. You know why? Because a sinner cannot cross-check a sinner. We are all living in sin. So rather, what happens when any of our scandals break out, we gather around the person whose scandal is out to cover him so that our own also will receive the same treatment when it comes out. That's the way we pastors are behaving. So when any of us now come and say, hey, 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 adultery is a sin. They'll say, hey, you are attacking your fellow minister. <laughs> so because we have shut the mouth of God 
from confronting us as pastors. When our members get up, they want to talk to us, we say, touch not the anointed. When our members that love us and somehow we are sinking in immorality, when they want to confront us with a prophetic finger, we tell them, touch not the anointed. So we have shut the mouth of the Holy Spirit, not to use our members to confront us, not to use fellow pastors to confront us. God now says, okay, let me take you to the threshing floor. Listen. Listen. That's how we have all the social media guys, the YouTubers, the bloggers, screaming and exposing our sins today to the whole world. Exposing our secrecy and shamelessly, many of us pastors are suing them to court. The ones in South Africa have been sued severally. I say, mm. And look at what God is doing. God is stirring the hearts of men across the globe to give him money. To, 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 so it was when God spoke to me like that that I, I wanted to send financial support to one. When God showed me that, oh, these are his guys, the threshing floor. Look at what the Lord said to me. Listen, this is fearful. He said, even you, if you don't live right, I will take you to the threshing floor. That's what the Lord said to me. He said, I will take you to the threshing floor if you don't live right. So it is the threshing floor. If you like, sue them to court. God will back them up. Because let's say we have, and look at what the Lord said to me. The Lord said to me, if we don't listen to them, all these social media guys, these YouTubers that are taking our scandals out, if we don't listen to them and repent, the Lord said to me, he will now use Babylon to deal with us. Because look at, look at the same pattern that happened to Israel. Israel turned against God. God raised the prophet. They shut the mouth of the prophet. God raised systems like YouTubers. There's no time for me to show you. They shut their mouth. They didn't repent. And God now used Babylon. Babylon now came and demolished the whole of Jerusalem. And it was without inhabitants for 70 years. If we don't listen to all these YouTubers that are exposing our sins and repent, look at what's going to happen. God will use the government to close down churches globally. You will see it. Governments of nations will rise up and close down churches because of the scandals, the criminal activities we pastors are involved in and we call ourselves servants of God. Those are the things God shared with me. When he told me those things, I shivered also. For you to know that, listen, the, the word of the Lord is a two-edged sword. It's a two-edged sword. The word of the Lord. So if, you are, if God is using you on YouTube or Facebook to expose the sins that happen in the church, don't be afraid. You are executing a divine mandate. Don't allow anybody scare you and say you are touching the anointed. You are not touching any anointed. Though. You are in a move of God. God is using you as a threshing floor to thresh us, we pastors. So that we wake up and stop this wickedness. Keep doing your work, my friend. Don't be afraid of anybody. Keep doing your work. It's your job. Just make sure that whatever you are saying is true. Don't lie. Make sure that you are speaking things that are true. Verify your stories before you publish them. Don't lie against any preacher. Speak the truth. The Lord said to me, you are his threshing floor. Until we repent, you will keep doing it. But when we repent, you will stop. If we don't repent, a time is going to come that God will use the government to deal with us. Because that's what God does. He chastises his own if they refuse to sit up. Let he that has an ear Hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. The vision of God is to bring us like this. So guys, um, you guys have heard from the horse's mouth. And I watched this video on Somako's you know, channel. Um, at this point, if you don't know who Somako is, she's one of YouTubers that are on Toma, um, Pastor Suleiman's case, like, you know, trying to expose all the alleged um, things he did, all the alleged bad things he did, okay? Um, so, why do I think that God is giving him um, second chance to repent? Frankly speaking, you know, um, I'm not someone that talk about pastors a lot, but not because I don't have a lot to talk about them, but because I think that it's not right time to talk about them. Let me just put it like that, okay? 
um, we are going to the permanent site when we, you know, unfold ourselves very well. So, uh, what do I want to talk about here? Um, I think that God is giving um, Apostle Suleiman a second chance, you know, to amend his ways. If actually he did all those things, you know, they say that um, who you love is who you correct, okay? When you love a child, you call that child back and you correct that child. I'm not here to condemn. I'm not here, you know, to talk about all the bad things they have talked. Um, the truth is that all those things are on social media. If actually he did that, it's very, very um, despicable of him. It's very bad. But is he a human being? Yes. Uh, one thing about us is that we forget that these people are human beings when coming closer to them. Um... We need to be conscious of our life. We need to be, you know, be alert, alert all the time. Uh, whether pastor, clergy, anybody at all you are coming closer to, because they are human beings. Devil can use them. Um, they can be tempted. They can be, you know, be an agent of another kingdom. You think they are working for God? Uh huh. So you have heard it. Um, if actually he did all those things, I think that this is another chance for him to repent. Uh, you know, um, repent cage himself and you know present himself more to god go closer to god because um who god love he you know chastised you know um i don't think um that all these things that have been said on social media will just be um you know forged even if all of them are not true but i think there are some atom of truth in them okay again there's one video of suleiman i watched where he said that nobody can a kind of let me not quote direct, but what he was insinuating in that video is that you can't give a father um advice or correction, okay? It's God that will correct him direct, which I disagree with him, okay? Nobody knows it, or we or a human being. Um, and again, most of these pastors have made themselves to be like they are more closer to God. So whatever they tell you, you believe. And some people have made them to become their Lord, personal Lord and Savior, living the real Lord and Savior. So whatever they tell you, believe without questioning, without going back to your Bible, without reading your Bible and trying to know is, is it tr truly what God wants or what God is saying. Um, personally... I'm not here to condemn, I'm not here to judge, but I think that um, who God loves so much, he chastised. So at this point, I think that um, he really needs to, you know, um, go into a deeper sober if actually everything they said is true or there are parts that are true there. If actually there are parts that are true there, I think that it's a call for repentance, a call for another chance to, you know, amend your ways and be, you know, closer to God. This is from another G.O.'s host mouth, not from my mouth, so, okay? So, guys, um, let me know what your opinion would be down there on the comment section. Let's rub minds together. And for those of you who don't know he, who he is, if you are not from Nigeria or from Africa, this is a clergyman um, called Apostle Suleiman. Um, a lot of things have been coming up against him, what he did, his past. Like, as a clergyman, things that are not supposed to be found around you. Uh -huh. So, that's why I'm saying that if actually he did them, because at this point, I don't even know who to believe. And again... Um, I think that what this pastor, this geo is saying is true because, um, you can't say that nobody can correct you. I think that these YouTubers, um, especially those that have good intentions, not to, you know, bad mouth people, um, I think that God is using them to, you know, to expose this and to correct you, to call you to on order, to call some pastors to others. If actually they are doing those things, like I always say, I always put if actually because I wasn't there with them. I cannot come and say what I'm not sure of, okay? Um, if I am the one that is involved, best believe that I'll come here and expose everything, okay? My um, subscribers know me by this time that I don't, you know, sugar coat things. So personally, I think that... Um, now, God is using those Nigerian YouTubers or any YouTuber at all that is, you know, talking about them, provided that what they're talking is true, they are not sugarcoating or trying to, you know, bring somebody down. So, guys, let me um, know what your thoughts is down in the comment section. Remember to like this video, um, share the video, and with this, I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.